Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. In this video, we'll learn how to multiply any number by 11. So let's take a look. So the most simplest example is when we have one digit multiplied by 11. So for example, let's take three multiplied by 11. This is the most simplest as we multiply the three by each number in 11. So we do three times the last one in 11, which is three. And then we do three times the first one in 11, which is three. So the answer is 33. It gets more interesting when we have two and more digits. So when we have two digits, for example, we have 23 times 11. What we do first is we get the last digit in our two digit number. So the three and we multiply that by the last one in 11. So three times one gives us three and we put that in the answer line. Then what we do is we move to the left and we add the two numbers. So we do two plus three gives us five and we put that in the answer line. Then we move to the left again and we've come to the end of our number. So we've come to the first digit, which is two. And we multiply that by the first one in 11 and that gives us two. So the answer is 253. Let's take a look at three digits. For instance, 786 times 11. So what we do is we start with the last digit. In this case, it's six. Multiply that by the last one in 11 and we get six. Then we move one space to the left and we add the two numbers. We can only add two numbers at a time. So we add the eight plus the six, which gives us 14. And we put that in the answer line, carrying the one from the 14. Then we move one space to the left and we add the seven plus the eight, which gives us 15. Adding the one from before gives us 16. Then we move one space to the left and we've come to the end. We've come to the beginning of our number. So we multiply the first digit, which is seven, by the first one in 11. Adding the one from before gives us eight. So the answer is 8,646. Let's take a look at four digits. Let's consider 2,468 multiplied by 11. So again, we start with the last digit. In this case, it's eight. And we multiply that by the last one in 11. So eight times one equals eight. We move one space to the left and we add the two numbers next to each other. So six plus eight gives us 14. Put that in the answer line, carrying the one. Then we move one space to the left and we add the two numbers next to each other. So four plus six equals 10. Adding the one from before gives us 11, carrying the one again. Then we move one space to the left and we add the two numbers next to each other. So two plus four gives us six. Adding the one from before gives us seven. Then we move one space to the left and we've come to the beginning of our number. And we multiply the first digit, which is two, by the first one in 11. So two times one gives us two. So the answer is 27,148. Let's take a look at five digits. So let's consider 54,321 times 11. So again, start with the last digit. So we have one times the last one in 11 gives us one. Move one space to the left and add the two numbers next to each other. So two plus one gives us three. Put that in the answer line. Move one space to the left, add the two numbers next to each other. So three plus two gives us five. Move one space to the left, add the two numbers next to each other. Four plus three gives us seven. Move one space to the left, add the two numbers next to each other. So five plus four gives us nine. Then we move to the first digit of our number. So five times the first one in 11 gives us five. So the answer is 597,531. And it's that simple. The only numbers that you multiply are the last digit and the first digit of your number. Each digit in between, you have to add the number pairs and you move consecutively to the left until you get to the first digit. Give it a try and let me know how well you got on in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button, share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.